All right, so this is another example of how to draw a Lewis dot diagram using my eight foolproof steps. Um, so what do you do if you're trying to draw the Lewis dot diagram for something like chlorate? Chlorate is a polyatomic ion. It has a charge, it's an ion. However, it is made of chlorine and oxygen, which are both non-metals. So the chlorine and the oxygen are actually held together by sharing covalent bonds, so they're sharing electrons. It just happens that there's an extra electron on there somewhere, giving it a negative one charge. So how would we draw this? The same way we draw all of our other Lewis dot diagrams. So step number one. As you recall, you're going to add up the total number of valence electrons that each atom will contribute to the compound. Chlorine has a total of seven valence electrons. Oxygens each have six valence electrons, and you'll notice there's three oxygens. So six times three is 18 from the oxygen. And then you need to re remember that this negative one charge right here, that negative one in charge says that there's an extra electron. It's got one more electron than it should have. So we need to add a extra, an extra, electron because of that negative one charge. So if we add it up, we've got seven, so our total is seven plus 18 plus that, that one from our negative one charge. So we're adding um, plus one extra electron. So we're going to add that one electron to our total. What we end up with is 26 valence electrons total. Now, here's a clue. If you add this number up and you get an odd number, then what that means is you've added it up incorrectly. So if you'd, forgot to, or if you'd forgotten to add that charge, you would get a 25. And it has to be an even number. This must be an even number. So if you recall, this means that this is how many valence electrons our compound should have when you're done. All right, step two. Um, we're going to go ahead and add up how many electrons each of these atoms would want if they could fulfill their octet. So a chlorine would want eight valence electrons total. Oxygens also would want eight. And there are three of those. So eight times three is 24. And so if we add 24 and eight, so eight plus 24, so our total is going to be 32 valence electrons. So this is what we would have if it were perfect. This is what we have. So we're going to have to try to work with our 26 here. So step number three. Step three, we're going to go ahead and subtract the 26 from our 32. So 32 minus 26. And that should leave us with six electrons. Let me make sure I'm doing the math on that right. So, yep, six valence electrons. So these, again, are going to be your bonded electrons or your bonding electrons. So that should be how many electrons are involved in our bond. Step four, we're going to divide that by two because, remember, there are two electrons in a bond, and that means that there will be three bonds in our compound. Step five, so I'm going to combine steps five, six, seven, and eight. So steps five through eight, we're going to do it all at once. So we are going to start with a skeleton. So if you remember correctly, we have a chlorate ion, a chlorine and three oxygens. If you look on your periodic table, chlorine is less electronegative than oxygen, so it's going to be in the middle of our compound. And then we're going to just surround it with our oxygen. So I'll put one here and one here. And you can put one up here or one down here. It's really just up to how you like it. And we're going to look back up here and remember, there are going to be three bonds. So we'll put one between each atom and that central atom, our chlorine. And then again, remembering from step number one, we calculated or figured out that there is going to be 26 total valence electrons on our compound. And so far, with the bonds, we've placed 2, 4, 6. So we need 26 valence electrons. We've already put 
6 with the bonds. So that means we need to add 20 valence electrons. So we're going to go ahead and add them in pairs around our atoms so that each one ends up with 8. So our chlorine already has 6, so we'll add 2 to chlorine. And then we're going to add 2 to this oxygen, 2 more here, 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 and here. Now, make sure that you only used 26 electrons. So I'm going to double check. I'm going to count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. So I only used what I had, our 26 electrons. Six of them were involved in bonds, just like we said they should be, three bonds. And everyone, if you look, oxygen has its 2, 4, 6, 8 valence electrons. This oxygen, 2468. This oxygen down here, 2468. And if you look at our chlorine in the middle, it's going to be kind of hard to cover these. It also has 2468. So everyone's happy.